Good evening, everybody. It's Friday, so that must mean it's time for the films that I watched this week. We'll just jump straight into it. And <clears throat> started with Clash of the Titans, the remake of Clash of the Titans with Mr. Charisma himself, Sam Worthington. Same story as the 80s film, a little bit different here and there. I'm a sucker because I have always liked this film. Despite all of its flaws and problems, I enjoy it. Give it a 7 from 2010. Then a film called Living from 2022. Stars Bill Nighy. He is a public's work, a public works department guy. Works in an office. Lots of paperwork. Then he gets diagnosed with cancer. Doesn't have long to live. So it's him dealing with that. It's a remake of the Japanese film Akiru, which I've never seen, but I've always kind of wanted to. But I thought this was very good. Quite sad in parts. But pretty good across the board. I get that one a seven as well. Then the sequel to Clash of the Titans, Wrath of the Titans. Um, same kind of thing, but the gods are dying. No one prays to them anymore. So we have... Kronos is going to come out of the pits of Tartarus and destroy the world. Um, not quite as enjoyable. I give it a six, but I still do like it. <clears throat> then, from 1951, Hollywood Story. A producer decides to make a film about an unsolved murder of a famous silent film director only to find his life is in jeopardy. Yeah, he, he moves into the little cottage where the guy was killed and it opens up a can of worms when he's trying to make this film pretty damn good. I like that one quite a bit. Give it a 7 from 1951. Hollywood Story. Then from last year, The Woman King. Um, set in the 1820s, it's about the all-women army or all-women clan that protected the Dahomey Kingdom in West Africa. Um, how much of this is truth, how much of it is made up for the films, I don't know. But I quite liked it. It's a 7 or an 8. Probably err on the side of a 7. But I enjoyed it. It had that woman from No Time to Die who was in new 007. I hated her in that. I didn't mind doing this. All right, film. Give it a seven. Not bad at all. Then Casino, Goodfellas in Vegas. Um, good film. That's fun. I like that a lot. Give that one an eight for nineteen eighty. No, nineteen ninety-five. This one's give it an eight. Yeah, this one's from nineteen eighty-two. The Wrath of Khan. A lot of people's favourite. A lot of people's. Uh, Claim it to be the best and all that kind of stuff. But I've never loved it. I do like it. Ricardo Montalban, I don't think, is Mr. Beat. Um, but yeah, a good film that I can watch when, whenever. Give it a seven. Then a film called How to Marry a Millionaire. Marilyn Monroe. Two other birds. I didn't write their names down. Betty Grable, maybe. And maybe that chick that married Humphrey Bogart. But it's three good-looking women trying to find mil millionaires to marry. That's it, not much to it. Marilyn Monroe was rather quite amusing because she needed to wear glasses but didn't want to wear glasses because men wouldn't want to go out with if she had glasses where, in my opinion, she looked better with glasses. But it's an okay film. 1953, give it a six. Not sure I'd want to watch that again, though. Then this one from 1931, Taboo, a story of the South Seas. This is set in the islands in the South Seas. Um, there's a fisherman. He's, he loves this young woman, but she's her body's been consecrated to the gods, rendering her taboo for mortal men. But they run off together and everyone chases them. Um, the two leads are island people, and it was 
decent, great cinematography, nice place to go. Um, finally watched it, and I didn't mind it. Give it a six out of ten. Didn't mind it at all, not at all. From nineteen thirty one, and from nineteen ninety nine, a David Lynch film called The Straight Story, based on true events. This is about a guy who is going blind. He can't see. He's falling apart. He needs two sticks to walk with. But he's a nice guy. At least I liked him. Um, decides to go across country to see his brother, played by Harry Dean Stanton, who's had a stroke. So he can't drive because he can't see. So he gets on a lawnmower, straps a little a trailer to the back, goes across country on a lawnmower. Really nice film. I enjoyed that a lot. I gave that one a seven. Um, I'm not sure I could watch it again though, but I liked it. Then from 2012, Act of Valor. Um, CIA officers been kidnapped and some think Navy SEALs go and rescue her. And then it moves on from there. I thought the, the actual war stuff and the fighting stuff, very well done. Um, it's actually got, at the time, active Navy SEALs and active US forces from whatever area. So the acting wasn't the best, but the action was pretty decent. I'll give it a six. Give it a six. Not too bad. And then last but not least, Stallone, De Niro, Liotta, Keitel, um, Robert Patrick, Copland, Stallone is a sheriff of this town that's called Copland because all the big cops go there and live there and all that kind of stuff. But there's something more sinister. Stallone's got a dodgy ear so he couldn't be a cop so he's a sheriff and he gets embroiled in all this shit that's going on. A, a superb cast, very a lot of heavy hitters, superb acting, good stuff. I give it a big, big fat juicy 7 out of a 10 from 1997 pretty good seen it before, pretty good and that is everything that I've watched this week and that's it